One plus three equals four. Oh god, math, okay. You know what? I'm gonna grab an energy drink, I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. So we've emptied our inventory, uh, except for the poison, because there seems to be a lot of jars in this room. So I think I'm going to have to pick up these bottles and do something with it. What yet? I don't know. I'm just going to collect the bottles and then we're going to go from there. Acid nitric. Did they all say acid nitric? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so. Is there anything? Okay. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Oh god, math. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna grab an energy drink. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back with my energy drink. We should be able to figure it out. So, acid nitric. Um, okay, we've got a water. I'm number three. Okay, we take some of that. Um, number three. No. Okay. What do we have to work with? Let's let's figure out how. I was going to say parameters. It's probably not the right word. Okay. Yellow six. Okay. So water. Three six. I bet water dilutes things to make different numbers, right? Four ten seven seventeen twenty. Do we want to hit twenty? What's, so maybe this is three and this is one. Okay, that makes sense. Four. Four plus six equals ten. Okay, so this must be the order to do things in. Okay, ten. One plus six equals seven. So water plus six. Okay, we got our water. This is too easy. What are you talking about? Who needs a science degree? We got stuff written on a wall. Okay, we got our seven. Seventeen plus three equals twenty. Right. What did we do? Seven. We just did seven. So ten plus seven equals seventeen. All right, and then, and then the last part is plus three. There we go. We didn't really have to do math. So I guess I didn't need to use my energy drink, but um, I don't mind. I should probably stop drinking when I'm meant to be talking, but. J V V jolt. Okay, we've got some V jolt here. Not sure what that does, but we also scored some empty jars. And if Zelda's taught me anything, you want empty jars. All right, let's try these other doors. That's locked. Blocked from the other side. I remember the, um, go away, I'm just trying to make the room green, bro. I remember, get off me, not the booze. Man, they're, they're actually destroying me. 
I remember the article about the plant holding the door closed. And I and I recall seeing plant roots. So we're just going to, I guess, take this formula, this chemical to the plant roots, and perhaps that will make the door unlock. Um, you know what? We don't need to backtrack again. And hopefully that's right. But I am glad that they're hitting us with the puzzles that aren't like, get rid of water. I feel like I might regret the fact that I don't have any items with me except for empty jars. But like, again, if it's like Zelda, maybe we can put some of these sharks in these jars and then like, unleash them on zombies in the mansion or something, that'd be cool. If this gets boring, I will fast forward. All right, we made it to the plant room. Let's try to put this J vault in the, oh, there's no water, but maybe if we just, can we just dump it on there? Sorry about the skip. Um, you missed a little bit of a cutscene of the plant roots shriveling up. The space on my computer ran out, so anyway, you, that's not important. Uh, tiny skip, you get the picture. We're throwing away a bottle. We don't need the bottle anymore. Should we throw it? Yeah, let's throw it. Okay. So, is there anything cool in here? No, it's green. You would have thought that that would give us something for killing that plant. Oh well. Our, our prize is the fact that we don't need to come back in here again, I guess. Fast forward again. All right. So if I'm right about this that being the um, plant. We might want to go in there a bit locked and loaded. So I might take the grenade launcher. Incinidary makes sense. And some shotgun as a backup. Um, all right, I'm going to combine these. I'm going to I'm going to save and then on the next episode we will meet up again at where I think the plant might be.